Hi, welcome to another video from SQL Maestros. In some of the recent videos, I have talked about how SQL Server statistics are created and how they are automatically maintained and updated. I have also recorded a separate video on histogram, how the different computations of histograms are done. Now, in this particular video, I am going to show you how histogram data, the computed data is used by the SQL optimizer for cardinality estimation. Now, histogram is a lot of data. There is density factor. There are range rows, equal to rows, uh, distinct rows, and average range rows. In this particular video, I am specifically going to show you how the optimizer uses uh, EQ rows, which is equal to rows, and average range rows. So let's jump to the demo straight away. And as very similar to my previous videos, I'm going to use this database, AdventureWorks 2008. And if these statistics exist, let me just drop them. So here is the table that I'm going to use, sales order header. And this particular table has a, a column which is total due. And it's a nice column because there are a variety of values out there, very skewed, uh, starting from the uh, from a single digit number to all the way to six digit numbers. So very good data. What I will do is create statistics on total due. That's the statistics object name and that's the column. And then let me show you the histogram using dbcc show statistics command. Now when you have the histogram in front of you, let me just expand the window a bit. So we have this range high key, range rows, EQ rows, distinct range rows and average range rows. Now if you want an explanation of what all this means and uh, how SQL Server is computing this, please uh, see another video uh, in SQL Maestro's uh, YouTube channel. Today I am only going to focus on uh, this data that is computed, how is the optimizer actually using it and I, I will do that in multiple parts. So let's get started with the most basic. So as you know, EQ rows. So what does this column tell you is that if you pick up any value from here, from the boundaries of the histogram, let's say, let's pick up something like this one. So one of the range high key here is 32.0229. So if I say select from this table where total due is equal to this value, it becomes a piece of cake for the optimizer because it knows that there are exactly 59 rows that match this value and the optimizer is getting this information from statistics and this is the column that is being used because equality operator gives you that now th that's that's pretty simple and very straightforward what's interesting here is that between these two range high keys which is 30.6 and 32.0 uh, there are a uh, couple of records uh, with values maybe 31, maybe 30.7, 30.8, 30.9, some values. And in the number of, so what you see is there are, when you see range rows, there are actually 23 rows between 30.6 and 32.0, but not including either of the range high key values. So when you when you tell the optimizer that give me all the rows or tell me the number of rows that are equal to 32.0229, the optimizer easily picks up 59. But what if you tell the optimizer or you ask the optimizer, what are the number of rows between 30 and 32, let's say 31, number of rows that are equal to 31, this becomes a difficult thing for the optimizer to figure out. And that is where the optimizer picks up this value, which is average range rows. So if you tell the optimizer or you give any value in between these two, uh, optimizer is always going to give you 4.6. That is the approximation the optimizer uses. And that is uh, where the histogram computed data comes into use. Let's uh, see this in action now. So I've created these stats and I'm showing you this histogram. Let me create a simple query to demonstrate um, the concept that I just talked about. So I'll just take vertical tab group yeah, and let me just resize the columns a bit so that all the data is visible. Okay, there you go. So this is the row we are playing with. So I will say select, let me zoom in a bit, select star from 
sales dot sales order header and I will say where total due is equal to and let me say 32.0229 so before I show you average range rows I would just show you uh, the number of rows that are equal to 32.0229 and I will include actual execution plan let's click on execute here and you can see on the status bar it clearly shows me that there are 59 rows uh, that have been returned and here are those 59 rows as you can see in the histogram let's go and look into the execution plan in the execution plan if I take the cursor over uh, filter that's where the filtering is done after the filter uh, operator and I zoom in a bit you can see that actual number of rows and estimated number of rows are 59 so this is 100 percent perfect cardinality estimation because um, the value the the parameter the literal the constant that we provided uh, matched exactly uh, to one of the range high keys and statistics uh, histogram uh, SQL optimizer pulls out that information pretty nicely the point that I was trying to explain is now understanding how this data is used is very straightforward let's see how is this data being used so we see this um, value 4.6 so if I say where total due is equal to uh, let's say 31 now to go back to the histogram see there is no range high key between 30 and 32 so there's no range high key for 31 so if I give any value which is 30.7 30.8 or anything for that matter until 32.0229 SQL Server will always return 4.6 as an estimation when I execute this unfortunately there are uh, no rows uh, with 31 but estimation will tell us 4.6 so if I take the cursor over the arrow here again after my filter predicate or just before the filter and zoom in and you can see actual number of rows is zero but estimated says 4.6 to prove my point further I can say anything like 30.9 for that matter uh, which is again between the two range high keys and I say execute no rows that's fine but what does the estimation say again 4.6 now this is just a small example to show you how statistics are used by the optimizer for cardinality estimation and which is very critical for the optimizer to um, generate an optimized execution plan and that's why it's very critical that your statistics are up to date always well that was a quick demonstration of optimizer using equal to rows and average range rows in the next video I will talk about how um, I'll show you some more examples on how this opti uh, the histogram data is used well that's uh, pretty much it uh, do follow me on a underscore Bunsel that's my Twitter handle uh, thanks for watching this video see you soon in uh, another video uh, very soon thank you and have a good day